All right, today on this episode of Johnny's Badassery, I'm gonna show you guys how to make watermelon squares without screwing it up like a redneck would. So I've already cut one half, and I'm gonna do this half now. So this is a seedless public, Publix watermelon. If you buy them in the squares, you're probably gonna spend about 20 to 30 bucks for maybe that portion right there. So for $6.99, I got this big old watermelon. So I cut it in half, and I'm gonna start here. Actually, I'm gonna flip it over. This makes it easier if you flip it over, keep it from moving on you. And you just start right here at the bottom. Now what we wanna start doing is going in a circular motion. Try to keep the blade straight the whole time. And right before you get to where the other part meets, where you started, you want to stop where it's about two inches apart from where you started to where you're stopping. You're going to take the blade out, you're going to come up about half an inch to an inch, and you're going to start again. Keep the blade straight. Again, keep moving around. Let's put in the watermelon. Again, we're going to stop to where it's about an inch and a half to two inches. We're going to go again. Almost there. Alright, so now you want to make sure that all your lines meet up. That one does, so we're just going right there and then here. Just going right there a little bit. That's good right there. All right. So now we take it, flip it over. Now some of this will start coming apart on you. So you just hold it, line it all back up from where you cut it so you can see where you've cut it, right? We're not going to cut this bottom part because it's just, it's not worth it. This down here is probably not any, not any, not any good anyway. So now we're going to take it. I'm going to start cutting right here. Start doing your little outline. And I, every, I washed my hands yesterday, so it's all good. <laughs> so as you start going around, you start putting the blade in there a little deeper. But remember to keep this lined up. Now, we start in the middle, make a line, and we go back in and go all the way pretty much to the bottom. A couple of times, a couple of passes on that one. We'll draw a line here, do the same thing. Draw a line here, do the same thing. Here. Go here, we're gonna turn it and just do the same thing, repeat. Draw it, cut it. One more time here. All right, so now as you can see, we got all these squares broken up. So where I stopped on my lines earlier, which are about right here, now I'm gonna go ahead and finish them off. There's one, there's two, last one, three. And this makes a mess. <clears throat> and no watermelon cutting session is complete without a frosty beverage. So we'll get that out of the way. Get these over here. First container up. Again, this is gonna make a mess. We've cleaned the counter, it's all good. You can try to 
put this here. Normally it's not going to work out that great, so. <laughs> There's all my squares right there. Bam. So that container. One. I know you guys are probably sitting there thinking, Johnny, you're a genius. Well, I can tell you that you'd be correct. <laughs> I actually didn't make this up. I saw it online a couple years ago and have adopted the method ever since. I think it works pretty good. So here we go, that's it. Now you have these that don't break off that easy. You just take your knife, come in there, dig it out, voila, done. This last part, the one at the bottom, the one that we didn't cut that good, I usually just take it, cut it in half, right? Just kind of finish that off. You'll have a couple of squares, not many. We really don't like that white part anyway, so. So there you have it. How to teach a redneck properly cut a watermelon. There it is. <laughs>